Hey, 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 everyone. Happy Thursday. Freddie Miller here, fired up, excited. Just got out of my uh, second class today. Committed, 28 day transformation. Getting my six pack back, baby. Woo! Ready for everybody to start joining real quick. Got uh, exciting uh, information for you guys today. For those who are ready, like I said, I just got out of the gym. Second time today. On a mission, get my six pack back. So I'm fired up, I'm excited. I committed to a 28 day transformation and these supplements have got me on fire. Anyhow, I'm gonna start in about 30 seconds, wait till a few more people join us, and then we're a rock and roll. Five steps designing a better life, and um, I know everybody wants some of that. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, share uh, this video, definitely comment, let me know where you guys are at. If you're checking in, I'm a little later than I, I'd like to be, but uh, I'm ready to rock and roll, I'm fired up. This is my second class today, I must have burned almost 2,000 calories in my classes today. So I'm jacked up, ready to rock and roll. But I'm excited to be here. I'm excited you guys are on. What's up, Bob Bearden? See Ibra Melba. See a couple other people joined us. Welcome, welcome. Well, hey guys, I'm gonna rock and roll. Like I said, I just got out of the gym. Second class today, I go to a place called Orange Theory. Started some new supplements and I'm freaking lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm, uh, I'm on a mission in the next 28 days to, to get my six pack back, lose about 10 to 12 pounds. Gotta lose some body fat and those puppies are all coming out and you're gonna see them all over social media. I'm fired up and excited. But anyhow guys, I'm excited uh, to, to be able to share with you guys uh, something every day as much as I can. You know, every time I'm, um, you know, as I'm building, you know, I love to share from the heart what's going on. You know, everybody that I reach out to is in different phases of their life. You know, I've gone through some challenges. I talk to people. Everybody's got some sort of dilemma, drama. If they're wa if they're uh, watching the news and staying up with current events, their, their brain is fried because, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, I've known it for many years. If you want to have a positive mindset, turn off the freaking television and some, to some extent, block out some of social media because right now, guys, your mind can go into the gutter pretty quick, you know, at the end of the day. And, you know, if you've got a family to support, if you've got goals, if you've got dreams, if you've got aspirations and you've got things to accomplish, guys, your mind's got to be clear. Mind's getting clearer and clearer every day. I'm going next week uh, to a Tony Robbins event, first one ever in Los Angeles for me personally. Uh, and I'm going to LA. I love LA. And uh, so I'm jacked out of my mind. But you know, I was reading through some notes today and uh, I was talking to someone earlier that was telling me, you know, how do I change things around for me and stuff like that? And I go, man, I'm, you know, I think we're always trying to change things around. I think we're always trying to reinvent ourselves. And I think we're always, if we aspire to be more and do more, we're always trying to, to grow, right? If you're not growing, like the great Max, John Maxwell says, you are freaking dying. So you've got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you know, read, you've got to uh, listen, you've got to surround yourself with the right people. And so there's five real steps that you know, I've always used as a as a point of reference, and I've shared with a lot of people I've worked with, um, you know, that I've learned throughout the years that you've got a um, you know, kind of basic fundamental things that you've got to uh, be clear on in order to be able to accomplish and design your life the way you want it. And number one, it starts with what do you want, right? You know, unfortunately, you know, most people have no freaking clue what they want. And it's not that they didn't want anything at some point in their life. It's that life has given them so many jabs, so many uppercuts. You know, they've gone through so many challenges. I mean, God, I've gone through some recently in the past year. And you guys will be hearing all about that when, I, when I'm uh, in victory. Again, uh, I, I'm, in that, I'm on the way. But, you know, a lot of times life knocks us out. And, you know, there's a quote that I heard many, many years ago when I started network marketing over 20 years ago that didn't make any sense. A lot of the stuff that I share now, I heard years ago, but they just... I, I couldn't relate to any of that stuff, so I just, you know, I, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really speak it, I didn't really live it. But as as time went by, and as uh, you know, I started acknowledging certain things. You know, number one, uh, you know, I heard a quote that said, "Most people die at 25, but they're not buried till they're 65." And that means that, you know, when we're young, you know, our parents have gone through some challenges and they've busted their butt uh, to be able to, to support us so that we have clothes, so we have food, so we have shelter, so we go to school, so we do uh, extracurricular activities, things we all take for granted when we're kids, for the most part. You know, not that we're not grateful, but, you know, we don't get it, right? We're too young. We, we have no, no uh, understanding of, of what it is, right? The sacrifices and stuff like that. And so we say, you know, we're different. We're going to conquer the world. We're going to freaking do this. We're going to be millionaires. We're going to we're going to go for it. We're not going to stop fighting. We're going to we're you know, we're going to dare to to dream and dare to do big things. And then life gives us a couple jabs. Uh, we have a family, we have a couple kids and we settle 
because we have bills to pay, we have food, we have to provide, we have to do the things that our parents were doing. And so by 25, most people, guys, they've already given up. They've checked out. They've they said, that's it. And so they just go, they go with the flow, right? You know, another day, another dollar. You know, they have that freaking mindset and stuff like that. And so my question to you is if you want to design your life, you know, what do you want? Be clear on that, guys. If money was no object and you could not fear, uh, if, if, you know, if there were no, if there were no challenges or if nothing could hold you back and everything was possible, what would you do? What would you do? You've got to dream big, but you got to know what you want. And, um, like I said, most people don't know what they want and that's why they don't get it, right? You know, if you get in a car and you don't know where you're going, how do you know when you got there? How do you know where you're going, you know, where are you going to end up? So you got to know what you want. Number two, you got to find someone who has this. You know, I've learned early on after failing forward and, uh, you know, uh, just being uncoachable and knowing it all. I used to be that guy that knew it all because I had some success as an entrepreneur early on. And even though I, I had success because I was mentored, you know, once I got successful, I just became uncoachable, unteachable. I thought I knew it all. And I got into this industry uh, of network marketing for many years. I failed. You know, my ego, arrogance, and pride were pretty strong, uh, but they were way stronger than my bank account and uh, they were costing me, right? And I, I went through some challenges in the beginning as well. So you've got to find someone that has what you want. You've got to find this person, you know, uh, and you got to find a person that not only has what you want uh, in the field of what you want and stuff like that, but is willing to teach you because it doesn't serve you much if that person's not willing to teach you. Now, not all of us have the opportunity to sit down with someone and, and work day by day with someone. So maybe that person has videos. Maybe that person uh, has written books. Maybe that person does calls. Maybe that person uh, has blogs. I don't know. Maybe it's a virtual person. I can tell you one of my mentors, a couple of my mentors I've never met. As a matter of fact, some of them have been dead for a while. Earl Nightingale, Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, right? And they've helped me out through a lot. To, to this day, they're still mentoring me because I go back to a lot of their stuff over and over again. I mean, Earl Nightingale's Strangest Secret alone, I've heard over a hundred times. It's an audio that if you haven't heard, guys, Listen to it 200 times, it'll make a dramatic difference in your life. But number one, you got to know what you want. Number two, you got to find somebody who has what you want, is willing to teach you uh, what it is you want, right? Number three, you got to find out what they did. And guys, how do you find out what you did? What they did, you sit down with them, right? Maybe take them to lunch. You know, I'll give you a cool story. You know, I've, I've uh, dominated social media for many years since it first came out. Uh, I was one of those guys that didn't get into MySpace and didn't care, but Facebook caught my curiosity uh, for many reasons. You know, for, I don't know, what was that, 2008, 2009. And I got on and I knew I, need to ma I needed to master social media. I knew I need to somehow dominate it because people were making money on the internet, people were doing good, and I had no clue what I had to do. And so I found the guy that by the name of Max Steingart and uh, he was like this self-proclaimed guru of social media marketing, the godfather, whatever, I forgot his title. And I looked at his stuff and I thought it was good. I mean, he was, you know, he set everything up good and, and I think he is great. I think he is great still to this day. So I found out he lived in Miami Beach and I just sent him a message and I said, hey, Max, you don't know me, but I've been in the industry for a while. Uh, I, I'm new to social media. I never got into MySpace, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm on YouTube. I have all this stuff, but I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. I want to master it. It seems like you're an expert. You know, would you mind if I take you out to lunch? And you know what? He said, yes. So I live in Miami. He was in South Beach, whatever. I, I went down there. I took him uh, to a place called Monty's. We had like a four, hour, you know, supposed to be an hour lunch. It turned out to be a four hour, four or five hour lunch. Ended up in his house. I started taking his courses. He gave me his courses. Started, uh, you know, sharing it with, with my team. And they started getting at that time uh, in the company I was in. And guys, I started having a lot of success in social media. But I reached out to him. I found somebody who was successful. And uh, I literally, you know, sat down with him. And, you know, he kind of gave me a game plan of what I needed to do. Uh, you know, and, and then, you know, number four, I did exactly that. You know, I didn't, I didn't try to reinvent the wheel. I did exactly what he told me. You know, uh, I, uh, you know, I developed a game plan of how to consistently connect with new people and, and expose them uh, to the information. You know, he told me, I can't guarantee you how many people are going to sign up, but I know if you reach out to X amount of people, you know, the law of averages kicks in and stuff like that. So, you know, I started signing people. You know, I remember that first month I had like 20 some enrollments. And, you know, I, one of the main reasons I've had a lot of success in network marketing is that I'm, I'm a really good connector. And, and in social media, I've had a lot of success meeting new people and interacting with people through my videos, through my posts, through, uh, you know, 
conversations and stuff like that. You know, I, I just, I connect, you know, and I, I became a really good connector. I think I've always been a good connector, but I became a really good connector because I was more, um, how can I call it? It was more intentional, my actions, you know, more intentional uh, connecting, more intentional, uh, you know, getting to know someone and interacting with them. The next thing is, you know, you you want to do exactly that and, you know, don't change anything, guys. You know, uh, don't, don't change the game plan. You know, if you've got somebody that's very successful and they take time out of their busy schedule and in most cases have no gain, they gain nothing off you. And sometimes they do, but even if they do, they have other options. I'm just saying most people, most of your mentors will not get anything from you. You know, it's just satisfaction like it is for me when I'm talking to you guys and stuff like that. You know, it's satisfaction because, you know, at the end of the day, guys, if you've been blessed with a lot of success, you're grateful. And if you see people that, that are hungry, that they have a desire for more, they still have, you know, uh, that fire in the belly, they haven't given up on their dreams, you know, but they're struggling, you know, they just need some guidance. They need, you know, a, a steering of the ship, right? They need somebody to co-captain them, to coach them, to, 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 to mentor them, to inspire them, to direct them, right? Not do it for them, but lead the way, guys. You know, if somebody takes that time out of their busy schedule, guys, you've got to you got to respect that. you got to do exactly what they tell you. And, you know, at some point when you start having success, if you feel like you've got to adjust the sale a little bit or something like that because you've taken ownership and you've, you, you know, you've gotten to another level, I get that because that's kind of what I've done, right, through the years. But, you know, you respect what that person did. And then, guys, you know, nothing in this business happens, especially in the beginning. You know, yesterday I talked about momentum. Nothing in this business happens unless you take urgent, massive action. You know, nothing, nothing. I don't know anybody that's had a lot of success. Yeah, one out of every thousand successful distributors, one out of every thousand might, or 10,000 might hit the lottery and land two or three people that kind of qualify them for the max plan or whatever, but that's extremely rare. Usually it's cases where somebody's built relationships for 25, 30 years and with good people and they themselves were successful. You can't, build a business based on that, right? You know, you, you've got to um, have urgent, massive action and keep sharing until you connect and uh, then things happen. And then guys, you know, you got to do whatever it takes, you know, uh, you got to continue until, you know, success uh, is, is a sprint. It's a marathon of sprints. You know, it's uh, you got to, you got to take off to create some momentum, you know, maybe slow down to reevaluate, but then you got to fuck jolt again right and do it again and do it again and do it again you know as, as a leader in this industry of network marketing guys you got to constantly be showing your team how it's done you got to be sh constantly showing and validating that what you taught it's not obsolete it's not something that you know worked years ago and now it doesn't you gotta you gotta prove it right and you know people like myself and, and leaders like that are watching me and stuff like that you know that's our biggest challenge you know at the end of the day i'm always like Shh, you know, did I do, you know, I, I, I evaluate what I did today. If I, if my whole team did what I did, is that a good thing or a bad thing, right? You know, am I proud of telling people to do things because I'm doing it myself and, and eventually they're leading to results, right? So, you know, guys, I don't know if uh, what I've shared with you guys today have, has served, um, served you a good purpose, but you know, number one guys, you know, if you have some big dreams, Number one, understand that anything you can imagine is real. You know, Pablo Picasso has that great uh, phrase, I'm a firm believer, everything is possible to those who believe, right? Biblical of sorts. I'm a firm believer that, you know, you know, no matter what you're going through, there's always a way. And, uh, you know, if, if I backtrack my life, you know, I've, I've gone through a series of challenges like everybody has. I've overcome them like everybody has. If not, we wouldn't be alive, right? A few of us didn't make it yet. Uh, but, um, you know, if you put something in your mind and um, you actually seek answers and seek individuals that are aligned with your cause, that maybe are far further ahead, that can definitely uh, give you counsel along the way. If you heed that advice, guys, and uh, you put a plan into place and you're consistent and persistent with urgent massive action, guys, I can tell you, everything is possible. This industry is full of that, uh, you know, and I can tell you, I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what you think. You know, a lot of what holds us back is that story we've created in our minds and we tell ourselves and other people of why we can't. When we drop the story, we will change our life. And I can tell you guys, I myself, have been caught up in the story many times. I'm human, just like you guys. But you know what? I pick myself up and I move on. And I understand that no matter what, life goes on. The show must go on, right? And, um, you know, 
you've got to you've got to be consciously focused on what you want, not what you don't want. Because as human beings, we attract what we don't want. You know, they say obstacles are what you see when you take your eyes off your goal. You know, if, if you're driving down a highway, like for example, I live in Miami, I drive to Orlando, it's about four hours. Typically when I'm driving, my windshield is full of freaking bugs. And it can get to a point sometimes where, you know, I can't put the wipers on because if I put the wipers on, like it just smears and it gets worse, right? While I'm driving, I could focus on those bugs and I can literally crash. Or I can look through the freaking little part, <laughs> the holes where, where uh, it's clear and focus on where I want to go and keep going till I can clean the screen, right? The, the windshield or whatnot. And in life, guys, you know, what we focus on, we tend to attract more of. Positive or negative. And the good news is that we have a choice. We can focus on what the hell we want. So why not focus on what we want? It's easier. It's funner. And the reality is, it leads to good things. The things we want, right? Eventually. So guys, I hope, uh, you know, me here preaching, you know, as I, as I share with you guys stuff, you know, I myself am in, a, am in a journey with you as well. I'm in a journey of, of bettering myself. I'm in a journey of, uh, you know, impacting a lot of people. I'm in a journey of, of rising back to the top and, and staying up there uh, and bringing a sh ton of people with me, right? I can't say bad words, you know, and, and I'm fired up. I'm excited. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I've been blessed with uh, a lot of great friends and a lot of great leaders uh, and, and relationships uh, that I've built through the years and I keep on building. And uh, God has just uh, paved the way for me. And, you know, guys, if he's done for me can do it for you so i hope you guys are fired up i appreciate you guys uh joining me and uh if you guys uh, appreciate it definitely appreciate your comments let me know uh feedback on on any of my videos i've got a few that you can go back and backtrack and get some uh, stuff my passion is to empower and inspire you guys i've been there and done that i've been where you've been uh and uh, i've overcome many times and uh I, you know every time i've been down i wish i had somebody that could speak to me straight in the eyes and tell me freddie this is what you got to do let's go Let's do it. And so my, my hopes is that whenever I speak, whenever I share, that I do that. Whether it's a comment I post on Facebook, a video, a picture, or whatever. Something, whatever it is, it opens your eyes and uh, gives you permission to move forward. Guys, I believe in you. You got what it takes. Let's do it, baby. I don't care what it is you're doing. Go for it. Go all out. And if you go all out, guys, go all the way to the top. Because a lot of people are praying for you to do something. They need you to do something. A lot of people are depending on you. Just like they depend on me, a lot of people are depending on you. So step up, step out, and let's freaking make some things happen. Who cares what the obstacles are? Who cares what reality is? Who cares what's in the way? Just freaking go do it. And uh, I'm on a mission as well. I'm doing it from a health perspective. Uh, everything, everything. Business, family, everything. And um, along the way, don't forget that every time you know, you're in a funk, Anytime things are not working out for you, anytime you're down and depressed, guys, you know, do whatever it takes to get some music on that really inspires you, some music on that, that'll get you jacked up. I'm trying to find it before I close out because I, I definitely want to go out with a bang. Uh, I could have put it on my iTunes, but sometimes, no. I can put some salsa, but I, not what I was looking for. Just put something that, that freaking jams, that gets you fired up and go, go, go. Not the music I wanted, even though I can jam to it too. But you know, get something that that, that makes a difference uh, in your in your state. So if you can change your state, you can change your mind. And uh, there's a lot of different things out there that can definitely do that for you. So guys, no excuses, just do it. Anyhow, friends are fired up. Peace out. Love you guys. Hasta mañana. Take care. God bless. Boom.